Hey guys, this is Lux and Balloon Bar, and today we're going to be teaching you how to do an ice cream cone and the process of how to do a column base. So this is how it's going to look, the ice cream cone and the base. Um, the reason why is because I've been seeing a lot of videos online and they really don't explain the true process of it. So here we go. These are the two types of bases we use. This is a 18 by 8. No, uh, it's 18 by 18. 18 by 18, and this is probably, you can see the difference here. Um, the smaller. This is for the columns. This is our, for the columns and the tunnels we use for the bigger ones. So it doesn't move as much. So, this is how it looks, already finished. There's an ice cream cone. We still don't have the popper because that one will inflate it on site due to the fact that it doesn't fit on the car. It will be pretty big. And going back to the base. So we have this, it's three pieces. This is one right here, two, three. I'll give you the names right now. So the first one, it's a floor, half inch floor flange. As you can see. So close, so half inch floor flange. And bought it at Home Depot. So that's this one right here, this circle one. Then you'll screw it on with some, um, right here, the screws that I use are number 10 times 3 fourths inch. And it's a 12 piece. We only need four of them. One, two, three, four. And you need also a drill to drill them in. Um, but this is the brand I used um, at Home Depot. Then we need these two pieces right here. So look at them. One, two, three. This bottom one, this one right here. And it's uh, Southland. I found it in the electrical aisle. And it's called the. Uh, Half inch times two half inch nipple gabalized steel. That's this one right here. This one right here, and then the next one is by itself. I don't think it comes in a package. So that one right there, the next one, that was gonna be your transition fitting. Um, it's also found in the same aisle. Make sure it's half inch. So you do the transition. So those are the three first pieces. Then the next piece, where you have it in the tube, is this one right here. It's a transition so you can put your tube, your half inch tube. The half inch tube is the same one we use for this one. Half inch tube, and the name is, the brand is Rigid, half inch times two inches is exactly what you need. Let's write it down. And that's what it looks like right here. This is what you would screw in here. It goes right in like that. And then once you, once you have the base built, you start inflating your balloons. We have a sizer. So if you see here, you see all the size right in here and we have 4 inches, 4 inches, 10 inches, depending on the size. For an ice cream cone, you have to go from small sizes to larger sizes. And we use this model right here for a uh, 4 inch 
base tube. So from the tube, this is probably like three feet. And this tube is probably like four or five feet. And we transition it from, we use one 4.5 inches to, to one, five, one five inch, two six inch, two seven inch, one 7.5, two eight inches and one nine inch so you can see four inch going up going up to seven seven point five eight and that would be that would be your cone we still need to put the ice cream on top and some other um decorations but yeah, that's how you do the base and we'll do we'll put the final result at the end. And if you need me to do any further explanations, just comment down below. I will just be putting a video of how the final product looks. But if you need it, if you have any questions on where to find this, any piece, if you if it wasn't clear enough on one of the pieces or parts, just let me know. Um the slicer if you like me to tell you where I found it probably tell you so yeah this is how you do the base that base we use the little one because it's gonna be indoors but if it's gonna be windy and I don't know um, you're gonna have a big big structure probably bigger than this you need something bigger because if somebody comes and kicks it this, this one if somebody kicks it, it moves a little bit so yeah and then I painted it, I primed it, I painted it with metallic paint. If you will need the information for that, comment down below. Yeah, this is how our organizer looks. It's not that organized. Our balloons. And our daughter right up there. So yeah, if you have any questions, comment down below. Follow us at Luxem Balloon Bar on Instagram. We're gonna give a like if you liked this video. If you didn't, like it as well. Cool. I don't want to take my Final result.